Hello everybody. Uh, I want to give a quick tutorial on how to properly pack a track for use in the NASCAR Racing 2003 simulation. Um, first things off, uh, give a little bit of clarification on the use of the WinMIP2 utility as far as packing and unpacking. Um, this is no big secret that it's obviously used quite a bit throughout the community to use this utility uh, to do both of those procedures. Um, however, there are uh, other other ways of being accomplishing that and in much better form and um, that is a couple of things that I want to cover in this little video. So as far as using the Wimit 2 utility to unpack and or pack is not uh, necessarily a problem um, but I will hit on I guess the pros and cons I guess to using that um, as we go here first things also next things next uh, to get the two utilities which I'm referring to the uh, dat X and the uh, make dat utilities they can be found at the US pits under the enter 2003 downloads by clicking on the editing tools download that pack and in that pack, once you open them, there will be a folder in here called Miscellaneous Tools. Miss, miss tools. In that zip, you'll find the Make Dat X utilities. Uh, Dat X and Make Dat. Uh, one for unpacking and one for packing. Uh, so once you have those opened up, um, I will first go over um, packing a track up. Um, obviously you want to make sure that um, all the files associated with your track PTF uh, produced by Sandbox is in the track folder and your track folder is named what you want it, your, your DAT file to be named so um, obviously both your track folder and your PTF as well as your CAM file for sure too um, are named properly and uh, just as a side note uh, to check to make sure that your track itself loads as far as the geometry and all the files associated with it and there's no problems there uh, just to rid any doubt if you can open your track PTF by double clicking on it it opens up in sandbox just as I've shown there then there's more than likely no problem with the track itself um, if you run into problems um, after creating your DAT as far as getting it to load, especially like in single race or championship mode, chances are you're probably missing um, items that are related to um, race, the race weekend, be it um, your flaggers, um, improper uh, number of stalls in your I and I, uh, things of that nature. So you want to check on that. That's just a little footnote. Um, now, as far as creating your DAT, as I said, you want your folder, your track folder, and your PTF name the same along with your CAM file. The make that utility, just put that right in that folder. And what the make that utility will do, if you double click on it, it packs everything up that what's within that folder to include your CAM, your PTF, all the files associated with that PTF into the DAT file. So this is the DAT file that it creates. You can then take that DAT file, put it into your track folder to which um, not to use in the game and you can check that uh, to make sure it works in the game and uh, that's all that's to that now as far as being able to unpack a track I'll demonstrate how to do that you want to first getting ahead of myself you want to first um, create a folder uh, much the same way it would with Wimit 2 creating an unpack folder because what the DATX utility will do I'm just going to leave it as new folder um, will do is dump everything that is contained within this DAT file right into the track folder itself if you don't do this step so create a uh, separate folder copy your DAT file to it to which you want it to unpack that's in there and then take the dat x utility and place that into there this is all you essentially need um, as far as unpacking that dat 
Um, most cases you can just double click on the DATX. If that doesn't work, um, simply take your DAT and drag it over to the DATX file. And that'll unpack everything that's contained within that DAT file. So it's, in a sense, it works the same way as the WinMIP2 utility. Only difference being it does not produce a PCK file because there is no need for one, if you use it, especially if you use the make dat utility as I explained earlier. Um, also, when you create a, just as another side note, uh, cr when you create a uh, P, uh, dat file, I should say, with the WinMIP2 utility, it tends to create the dat file, the dat file end, uh, ends up being somewhat larger than if by using the make that utility um, for whatever reason uh, I don't know if that's just the way the women utility works but in some cases depending on the uh, caliber of the files that you're packing um, it can tend to be a good couple megabytes um, or more um, difference in size so the make that utility optimizes uh, in a much more efficient fashion um, than the WIMIP2 utility is, but as I said, there's essentially nothing wrong with if you're only doing you know a track here or there. But when you're doing multiple tracks and you're putting those in your track folder, it would behoove you uh, to to uh, use the make that the make that um, utility as opposed to the WIMIP2 utility. So that is the simplest way you can explain uh, the proper way of uh, packing up, packing and unpacking a track folder for NASCAR Racing 2003 simulation. Um, any other questions or con concerns I guess you might have, uh, you can refer to us, I guess, at uh, SPP Forums. Um, hope you found this tutorial useful, and uh, thank you for watching.